There are different ways in Excel to format your numbers. If it's just a standard number like this, you just edit it as normal. You don't necessarily need any decimal places or anything for this number. It's just the animal shelter number. However, you do have some other numbers which are dollar amounts for total expenses. And then you have percentages. So let's go in and format these. Under the Home tab, you have a number grouping here. You can choose from your number types here. There are a couple here for your uh, dollar format, percentages, adding commas, and increasing and decreasing decimals. There is also another dialog box where you can choose very specific um, ways to format your numbers. You can even create custom number formats as well. Let's go in and I'm going to highlight these. I want these to show in a dollar amount. There are two different ways I can do that. I can choose the currency or the counting accounting format. If I choose currency format, we'll worry about this in just a second. If I choose the currency format, note the placement of the dollar sign. It's floating next to the number. I'm going to increase the width of this column because that's why I'm getting the number signs here. It cannot show the numbers in that column width. It's, the column width is too short. So I'm going to double click here to auto fit and you can see the numbers. Now, I may want to use accounting format. So again, look at the placement of the dollar sign. Accounting format will place the dollar signs to the very left of the column so that all of the dollar signs are aligned. Let's say, for example, I don't want the decimal places. I can use this button, click it once and then twice to decrease the decimal places. Or I can go to the drop down menu to my accounting format. I'm sorry. We can go to the dialog box to the accounting format and we can change the decimal places to zero there and we can also choose whether or not we would like the dollar sign. So you have some different options for the, the uh, currency there. Okay, So we'll leave that as it is without the decimal places and accounting format. These are formatted incorrectly because they should be percents and not dollar signs. So I'll highlight those and choose the percent and now I have the percentage and all of these since these are percent of the total this should add up to a hundred percent if they're all a percent of this total. So that all looks correct. Again if I wanted to increase the decimal places I can do that. Let me highlight all of them. The other option I would like to show you, and I'm just going to highlight a couple of numbers here just for demonstration purposes. I'm going to set those back to just general format. And if you choose the comma style, it does not add the, the uh, dollar sign, but it does add the comma, which is nice, and it will add the two decimal places. So if you only want the comma, and no dollar sign, you can decrease the decimal places there so that it's just a typical format without the dollar signs. So I'll change those back to the accounting format with no decimal places.